Hello, and welcome to Demon Interviews, episode 179. I'm your host, as always, very shocking, Springy, and join us today as our very special guest. Versus Lita Shano. Woo! What's up? Woo! So, hello. Hello. W- welcome, <laughs> welcome to my YouTube channel of demons. Um... <laughs> Thank you for uh, having me. <laughs> well, of course, I am happy. Hang to out with you. all the demons. Yes, all of us. I'll Love bring mine along. Let's go. <laughs> like yeah. personal, metaphorical, right? <laughs> physical. Just all the demons. All, all the demons. The demons. <laughs> uh, but so the first question is, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. You know, I'm living that PTO life right now. Mm-hmm. Which never happens, so I'm nice and relaxed, you know, got some yeah. chores done because adulting is so exciting. So, so but no, it's it's been a great day so far. So nice relaxing day, which awesome. everybody needs. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. Uh, <laughs> so uh, have you ever been interviewed like this before? I don't believe so. <laughs> No, this is the first time for me. I've been like, no, not no. <laughs> Honestly, now that I think about it, like no. <laughs> so I'm excited. I've, I've always wanted to do something like this. So awesome. Well, we're happy to introduce you to the world of interviewing. Love Yay. it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Imagination. <laughs> um, one of these times, I'm going to learn how to edit and just put that in. One of these Actually, times. Actually, right? I, and I'll never know when. <laughs> um, so, so today, we're going to be basically going over some Twitch stuff, because some of your fans know you from Twitch and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And some people also know you on the tickety talkities uh, On the Tic Tacs. And, <laughs> and so we'll kind of just go back and forth on that with... You know, talking about Twitch related mm-hmm. things and talking about cosplay related things and all that fun stuff. Uh, all the goodies. All the goodies. And also our random fun ones as well. Uh, so, uh, do you want to start off with a cosplay question or a Twitch question? I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Which, which... Um, We'll start off with Twitch. I feel like the Twitch questions are going to be a little bit more difficult for me. Okay, actually. <laughs> We'll start. We'll start. We'll start with the hard ones and work our way. Exactly. Down. Uh, right. <laughs> exactly. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's not just gonna be all over. Hopefully. Uh, wood. <laughs> My table's actually made out of wood, so perfect. Um. Uh, so. How, why did you start doing Twitch streams in the first place? I think just because. I low-key always wanted to do. I mean, who doesn't want to play video games for a living? First of all. True. So, um, I think I really just started because of the pandemic. Honestly, yeah. just I joined that crowd of people who hopped on TikTok, like, mm-hmm. and Twitch. Who and both of those just really blew up. So, um, but like I've always, like, even when I was younger, like I will normally never admit this. I've always wanted to entertain people. Like always. I was a very, very shy, quiet kid, but I've always wanted to entertain people somehow, some way. And I felt like Twitch was like a good start or a good starting point rather. Mm-hmm. Um I did start off with TikTok first and that kind of led me into Twitch. Um because I really I haven't been on Twitch that long. It's been like a year and a half maybe i want to say like give or take um but yeah i just i like enjoy i enjoy interacting with people and like being goofy and funny and you know just like keeping people entertained somehow some way so i low-key wanted to get into like acting and voice acting at some Mm -hmm. point so again i feel like just me trying to feel comfortable in front of a camera because that never really happened (laughs) as a kid so um you know like that awkward hating the sound of your own voice like i don't know just things like that so i think twitch was like a good starting point for me to kind of break into that world of entertainment yeah trust me i completely get that (laughs) i had like horrible like social anxiety and stuff like that and now i do have a show about 
talking to random people on the internet. Talking to strangers. Talking Imagine. To strangers. Uh, uh, telling young me he was having a panic attack. Uh, <laughs> uh, but. So, next up, we're going to be. Uh, uh, at this point. Mm-hmm. What has been, if you if you are somebody who knows this type of thing, your highest view, uh, viewer count that you've noticed while you're streaming. I. That's a very good question <laughs> that I've noticed. <laughs> I know my, I'm not, I'm not an expert on Twitch by any means. So I think like my CCV is usually around, like. 10, 10 to 12 people on average. Uh, there was one stream that I did where I battled a friend um, in Pokemon and he brought all his friends. So it was probably around like 30 ish tops. I want to say around there, mm-hmm. something like that. That So that, that was a good, that was a good day. That was a great day, but I would say like on average, probably around like 10 people. Awesome. I want to say. Yeah. Awesome. So working our way up <laughs> slowly, yeah. slowly but surely. <laughs> yeah, I. I it's really hard. It's that. honestly hard. Like, um, I feel like with Twitch, like Twitch is a very difficult tool to use, especially if you don't have like a set schedule. Mm-hmm. I feel. Um, for those of you who don't know, like I work retail, so schedule is always all over the place. So it's very hard to just kind of like get your footing and like learn how to do Twitch when you don't have a set schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, but with that said, I feel like I'm doing pretty okay with what I have so far. So yeah. hopefully we can keep it going. So yeah, fingers crossed. Well, I, I hope so too. I, I'm, I, I hope you. this will help as well. Cause that's kind of yes. the point. The whole point of the channel is to help people. <laughs> so I hope this helps. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, Hmm, let me see. I'm trying to make sure. Um, so, for people who don't know, your what you put out into either TikTok, Twitch, so on and so forth. What is one of the like primary things you put out into these platforms? If that makes sense. If not, I can hopefully reward it. You mean like? what content do i want people yes. to see essentially yes. um looking twitch i feel like is just more lot li- like live like get to know me hang out mm-hmm. with me just chill let's have a good time tiktok i really want to just kind of show off who i am as a performer really mm-hmm. like i do all the trends and whatnot but some of my original content i love doing like original content like we have a series going on of what happens if professor sada and professor turo were young and fell in love and that whole storyline and so i like like writing scripts and Mm -hmm. acting them out and doing all that so that's kind of really what i want to push is all more so the original content like the original acting and potentially voice acting somewhere down the road maybe um so that's like the main chunk of what I'm trying to get out there. Now, like keeping up with trends and stuff like that, like you still have to, that helps get your name out and whatnot, but I, it's mm-hmm. not what I want to be known for exactly. Yeah. So, but the original stuff, I hope will someday make its way. Yeah. Worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide global superstar yes. versus Leader Shano. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fame and fortune. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, do um so what has been one of your most favorite videos to make either on the TikToks or the Twitch in uh, so I have it pinned on my TikTok page. It's mm-hmm. the one where I've worked so hard on learning how to do transitions and learning how to edit videos and stuff like that. So my fav- absolute favorite is the one where I transitioned to all my 
cosplays of Turo mm -hmm. and all the iterations of it to um, I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. I was so beyond proud of that video because it really showed, like, I started TikTok. I've been doing TikTok for, again, like I said, since the pandemic, but I had a separate personal account. This particular account, I started just under a year ago. I think I started last May or something like that. And just seeing how far I've come from learning the ins and outs of TikToks and learning the ins and outs of how to edit and act and all that. I think that particular video in itself is a great piece to show that showcase that. Mm -hmm. So I would honestly say that's my favorite. Awesome. Uh, and I, I do mean anytime I say awesome or amazing, it's just those are the only two words I know. Uh, <laughs> For the longest time, me too, trust me. <laughs> I just don't have a thesaurus next to me to, you know, flip through, you know, what's another word no. for awesome or amazing? Right, uh, no, that, that's me too. There, be, awesome's yeah. usually my default. I learned, I yeah. switched to um amazing. Yeah. That's, that, that's the new forth. one that I'm stuck on, yeah. I'm back and forth. It depends on how, like, my brain is working that day. Right, uh, exactly. So... I have all the silly questions. Uh, I actually haven't said any of the silly ones yet. What the fuck? I usually always say I, I was going like, to say, where's first. the silly? I know. Gotta be like, the goofball. My my god. Like, we have so many silly questions. <laughs> We're like not, we don't have any of them yet. I'm going to okay. do one of them before I do the serious one I had in my head. God. All right. Dang it. Okay. That, it's a think of three parter, technically. Oh, so, okay. The first one is very well, long, very, for this one. <laughs> very long, very complicated question from my past guest, a Mr. Zoom underscore twenty twenty eight. Bacon question mark. Bacon question mark. Mm -hmm. Always bacon. Mm. Always bacon. Period. Always. That's that's the line. Always bacon. Perfect. Bacon with everything. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so next one. From the same past guest, even longer, yep. more complicated. Peanut butter? Question mark. Ooh, I am a big fan of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like things that I wouldn't like peanut butter on, <laughs> but honestly, I would. I love peanut butter so much. I remember this one time as a kid. Actually, I would dip Oreos in peanut butter sometimes. Oh. Well, I mean, they come out. They like, came out with like peanut butter Oreos. They came out so, with peanut I mean, butter Oreos, yeah. So maybe I invented it. Copyright. Yeah, exactly. Where's all of my money, Oreos? Right. Uh, we're not sponsored by Oreos or <laughs> or anything or their parent company because I know it's like a parent company who owns Oreos yeah. and eight other cookies. But uh, so next, so you so you said that you you would have peanut butter with pretty much anything. Pretty much anything, yeah. I'm gonna put that to the test. If you look in okay. your mailbox now, no, um, no, that's amazing. <laughs> That'd be so weird if I imagine that. Our budget would have to be a lot more than zero for, for me to do something like that. <laughs> but uh, the actual question is actually kind of going off of that: uh, bacon and peanut butter? Question mark. Yes. Yes, I actually. It's funny that you said that because right before you asked that, I was thinking of like, what's the weirdest thing that I've eaten with peanut butter? Mm -hmm. And someone, I went to a party one time and someone actually had corn chips with mm -hmm. peanut butter on them. So good. Yeah. So good. Phenomenal. So that you got like that whole sweet and salty going on. So yeah, bacon and peanut butter, easy. Perfect. I would try that in a heartbeat. I have actually tried it before because, you know, we ask these questions so many times. Ooh, is it good? It's pretty good. I'll, I'll have to try it. I actually have a video of it on the Demon Interviews Instagram page. It's the only video on there, I think. <laughs> Everything else is just the thumbnails. Pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbnail <laughs> pictures or happy birthday to this person. Uh, Hold on, I gotta write that down. Uh, <laughs> Peanut butter and bacon. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's either it, 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 made, it sounds I, I had I had kind of like how you have like like ants on a log type of thing. You know, I just oh put okay butter yeah on top of the bacon. Gotcha. I, I didn't dip gotcha. the bacon in the jar. Again, yeah, our pro well. our our budget would have to be a make, lot more yeah. than zero to right, be right. doing that type <laughs> of thing. Uh, but it it mainly tastes like either bacon or peanut butter. It, it depending on how much you put on. It never really had a mixture yeah. taste from what I remember. There's a little bit of okay. so I might have to try it again. Take two. Uh, Take two. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that sounds good. 
It, it's not bad. It really is not that <laughs> bad. If you do try it, make a video, send it to me. I'll post it. I will, uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> so, the next question, again, coming from a past guest. A lot of silly ones seem to be coming from past guests. <laughs> uh, coming from a Harley F. Quinn. <clears throat> what are those? These are my Crocs. <laughs> I, I don't I, actually know the answer to the question, so I just assume, yeah. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I do not own a pair of Crocs, but that was obviously... Yes. We're doing a first thing that comes to mind sort of thing. I mean, I, well, whatever I guess. you want to say. Those, like, all these those are my Crocs. Upper interpretation, whatever you want to say, pretty much. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so, now this is the serious question. So... Okay. So your content is primarily Pokemon related mm -hmm. for, you know, Twitch and for TikTok. Yeah. Since that is a very, there's a lot of people doing that type of thing. What is one thing that kind of takes you like apart from that, that, that like, that people like would be like, oh, I love this person for this because like, what's one thing that differs you from all the other ones that people have seen out there? Probably the cosplay in itself mm -hmm. like i'm not a hardcore pokemon gamer mm -hmm. i've dipped my toes in the vgc pool um tried it had a little fun for like a hot second wasn't for me mm -hmm. um i know that that's kind of like the big i feel like the biggest piece of the pokemon community is all these big like YouTube creators doing VGCs. Then there's the whole shiny hunting niche. I am not a shiny hunter. I have very hot takes on shiny hunting. <laughs> we'll try not to get canceled today. <laughs> um, I just you feel mean... like, <laughs> again, no, I just feel like, um, I feel like the cosplaying in itself, again, like I want to entertain people and I feel like being, a voice especially being a part of the lgbt community and being able to portray these characters and whatnot which right now it's professor turo which yeah. there's that whole thing going on which that's a story for <laughs> that's a story for a little bit later yeah. um but yeah i just feel like being able to act out like these scenes and just try to be kind of make fun of pokemon like in a, like not in like a mean way but just like taking the jokes a little bit further than yeah. normal i guess is the best way to put it um because another thing that i always wanted to be was a stand-up comedian but i don't think i'll go down that road but again um just that whole like going back to acting and the voice acting and like being one of these characters from pokemon and being like iconic I guess, yeah. <laughs> not, but um, the, I I would say that's probably the best way to put it is just not so much going for all these bigger because the Pokemon community as a whole is like one huge bubble. You got like the TCG, the Shiny Hunters, all that. Mm -hmm. So just kind of finding those smaller groups of people and sticking to those really. Yeah. I guess, sense. yeah. I think that's probably the deepest question we have on here, so don't don't. don't. Okay. I, 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 <laughs> I was like, the deepest I'm like, I'm not sure exactly how to word this, but neither did I. Just <laughs> so, uh, hopefully people will get it. <laughs> yeah, it it makes sense to me. It okay. <laughs> uh, so our next question is coming from a past guest who technically won. A contest thing on our, our Instagram, uh, who said who it put in a question. Uh, if you're going to be the star of a movie, any movie, whatever movie, I, who would you want your co-star to be? It could be anybody, a friend, or you know, uh, or an actor, actress, so on and so forth. And what genre of movie would it be? First question's the easiest one. My other half, Professor Sada, Mallory, amateur archaeologist. Um, what genre of movie? It would probably be some sort of like dramedy, mm -hmm. some some type of deal. Like 
it would have it would have to be hilarious because when you put the two of us together, I just feel like we have such good chemistry and and making people laugh <laughs> um, pretty much. So I would probably be like comedy, but like we get some seriousness in there to kind of make it a dramedy. So that's that's probably the best, but more so on the comedy side, I guess. Perfect. Perfect. Well, <laughs> um. Hmm. You already you already kind of answered that one, so I'll just skip that one. Um, it was about trends, and if you worry about them or not, I mean, you already kind of went over that. I mean, so. yeah. <laughs> so I'll just take that and just throw it over there. Um, <laughs> so the next question is, um, who from YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and so on and so forth, would you ever want to collaborate with who you haven't? done a collaboration with before there's way too many there's way too many um let's see there's moonblast dolly who does an amazing iono cosplay mm -hmm. um and an amazing ariana grande impersonation phenomenal um oh my god there's ollie dreamer there's um oh there's so many there's <laughs> Um, I can never pronounce his username, but it's the Larry from TikTok, um, from Scarlet and Violet. Um, th oh, there's just so many. Oh my god! <laughs> like any, like any of the big, any of the big wig YouTubers probably like yeah. hit me up. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm your guy. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my god, those are probably like the the first ones that I said were just like the first ones that popped into my head like yeah. instantly that. Fingers crossed. If you guys are watching this, yeah, just saying. Yes, please. So we all follow each other. So yeah. I don't see why they, why it can't happen. Exactly. exactly. What I would love, actually, um, maybe if you guys are hearing me out, I want to do like either like a TikTok live or like a guest um, Twitch live with all of us, like the entire cast of Scarlet and Violet cosplayers. <laughs> all together on like a zoom call type situation that would i feel like that would be epic mm -hmm. so to get all of them together so maybe we can make that happen someday who knows in character or out of character in character in oh. character well yeah in character i would say do one maybe with like one without our thought yeah we could do both yeah yeah beginning is in character and then it's like the after party and you know, there afterwards. you go yeah exactly yeah best of both Poke worlds. pokemon after dark there you go <laughs> Oh god, I feel like that's a ROM hack somewhere that we should not talk about. I'm sh I'm <laughs> sure it is. Um, e. Uh, uh, again, not, try not to get canceled. Not getting, <laughs> not getting into that side today. <laughs> uh, back away. You just like start like poking people with. A, sorry, I should probably poke this way because you're on this side. Just poking people with a stick, like just ta taking my giant foam sword and just starting like just. There you go. Back. Uh, I don't have I don't have anything, but we'll, we'll figure it uh, out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Oh, uh, so um, let's see, let's see here. Um, I think um, uh, last question for the uh Twitch side, at least without me just combining things from another side. Uh. What is some advice you have for people to who first join Twitch or TikTok or anything along those lines? Do the numbers matter, but they don't. This is gonna it's, and it, it it's a weird saying, but let me explain. I feel as though a lot of people. I'll give you an example. Like right now, like I had some heavy hitter videos recently, and then pretty much ever single video that i've had after that has been not hitting the way i want it to mm -hmm. but that happens it's it's mm -hmm. gonna happen and the best advice i can give you is to not get discouraged over it because it's you're gonna have your good days and bad days content creation is hard it is very very hard it's not a set in stone thing mm -hmm. you're you're gonna have your ups and downs you're gonna have your good days and your bad days the most important thing is to not give it up mm -hmm. do not give it up under any circumstances if you want it to work you make it work 
and if it doesn't work one day, you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring you. Mm -hmm. Not to get philosophical and deep, but pretty much that's actually yeah. that's what I that's what I have to tell myself every day. I have good days, I have bad days, and you know, it's a balance. It's a balancing act. You never know what video is going to hit. You never know what video is not going to hit, and you just you can't give it up. You just yeah. can't. So. I get that. I hundred percent understand <laughs> that. Like, like I said earlier, this is episode one hundred and seventy-eight. <laughs> I've been doing this for like three years or four, three. And you haven't given up. <laughs> Not yet. Because <laughs> like, yeah, don't give up. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, yeah. I, I, not. Uh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to get content sometimes, and and it happens. It is. I agree, hundred percent. And sometimes you'll have like a dry spell and not know. Like there was one time when I literally, I could, I was literally just sitting at this computer screen for hours trying to just come up with ideas and mm -hmm. nothing. literally nothing. Yeah. Then I go to sleep and I have a million ideas. I keep a journal next to my um, bed because I literally like I wake up in the middle of the night. That's an idea. <laughs> like, yeah. Finally, <laughs> so yeah. it's it's hard work and nothing ever is really a waste of time uh, is another good piece of advice i would say even if you're sitting at the computer screen staring at it for hours on end you're at least attempting and trying and it may not come to you then but it might come to you later yeah it's okay <laughs> yeah i 100 percent understand that 100 percent, and mm -hmm. yeah i 100 percent agree because like right recently we've been putting out like basically me just explaining my original characters and people seem to be liking it and i've been doing mm -hmm. it and paying people god knows amount of money to do art for them uh because i, Trust me, I feel artist. that too i have a Hi. yeah huh. uh, i've actually just commissioned somebody for an for a, an oc i i or, or a alternate universe for them and i'm going to be paying them 90 dollars Ooh. Yeah, well, it's half and half, and it's like an alternate. There's two alternates. It's not technically just one, but like, geez. payments are half and half. And I'm very pleased about that. They do amazing <laughs> jobs, but like, yeah, no, they they deserve they deserve every they, they, they deserve penny that all they get. The credit. They honestly deserve yes. But he, he, <laughs> it te it tends to hurt the wallet every now and then. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, uh, I feel that. Uh, uh, good thing my uh, microphone doesn't pick up background sounds because you'd be hearing my wallet crying. Uh, <laughs> for uh, but uh, going on from that, uh, <laughs> um, so now since we're in kind of the middle, maybe, okay. eh, depending. Uh, I just want to say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do the stereotypical YouTube things. I said that backwards, and I usually do, but that's fine. Uh, don't forget to follow our lovely guests on all the social media platforms. There'll be a way to get to them in the description below. Links or just names. Depends on how I feel when I'm putting this up on YouTube. Uh, if it makes it easier, my username is the same across all my socials versus Leader Shano. So that... Everything easier. <laughs> yes. <makes> everything <laughs> easier. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, there's something else. Don't forget, if you have any questions for our lovely guests here, put them in the comment section below. And if we bring them back yes. onto the show as themselves, we can put them, we can ask them your appropriate question. We haven't had an, an inappropriate <laughs> one yet, but we also haven't had any at all. So I think yeah. I've knocked on this desk more times in this interview than I've had since I bought it. So. <laughs> yeah, that that's... What, what Fingers crossed. Just being like, oh, there we go. Okay. Now you can actually see the paleness. Oh, uh, I know too much light. <laughs> too much light. Do it to me. Uh, uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the primary Twitch esque questions. So now we'll go on to more the cosplay slash TikTok type of thing. Uh, hopefully, I won't just say questions multiple times, um, which always could happen. Um, I almost just asked the "Have you been interviewed before?" question. I'm like, I already said that. Oh my god! Yeah, fact, yeah. <laughs> like, just now. Just uh, now. <laughs> uh, so would you rather eat Cheetos or go on a hike? Oh, eat Cheetos easily. Mm -hmm. I 
You Which think I work them? out? Ooh. You know what I really like, actually? I like the puffed ones. Or, or not the puffed ones. The um, the one that's like the popcorn. Like the puffed. Like, they're not the puffs. Like, you know Jack's? Like, not those ones. Like the cheese curl ones. I'm talking about like, the, it's. it almost looks like popcorn. Oh. Oh, yeah, like that one. Read. Whatever I forget what it's called. That's probably my favorite out of all of them. I could like literally like sit there and just eat the whole bag in one sitting easily. Yeah, I can do the same. Uh... If you're expecting me to say the flaming hot Cheetos, oh, I'm not. I like spicy food. I do not like hot Cheetos or like hot chips or anything like that. They I don't know what it is about them. That, uh, yeah, mm, I, I agree. Not a fan. I 100 percent agree. 100%. Yeah. Uh, so. so. <laughs> Word. Um, they're hard. They're very hard. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, so you're mainly known for Professor Toro as as, as one of the cosplays you do. Um, mm. Do you have plans for any other ones? to do either for streams or for TikTok creation or anything along those lines? I'm so excited that you asked this. <laughs> um, Perfect. Mostly because this is going to come to a shock to a lot of people. Okay. I never intended to be a cosplayer. I really, like, it was... <laughs> Here's how the Turo thing started. Mm -hmm. The Turo thing was supposed to be a one-time Twitch Halloween costume. Because every year, Mallory and I do a co-stream where we play, like, silly games um, and dress up in Halloween costumes and do whatever. So one year, we decided that we were going to do Adam and an Irida from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Because when we, we start planning early, because, you know, Halloween costumes can yeah take like, get tricky sometimes. Yes. And all of a sudden, we get this trailer for... Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, where they introduced the absolute by panic of 2020 when they showed those two professors on screen. Mm -hmm. And we literally looked at each other like, scratch all of our plans, <laughs> Adam oh, and Irida, you're gone. You are <laughs> like, we love you still, but not happening. Not <laughs> Get anymore. me my lab coat now. <laughs> Break <laughs> out the lab coat. And so it started off as just like a silly Halloween costume, but then we did a reveal on TikTok and people went nuts over it. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, is this what we were meant to do? So we've just been doing the Sada and Turo thing for what feels like forever. Yeah. And we haven't really, like I've done different versions of Turo. Like I've done yeah. a young Turo. I've done what if like an alternate universe where if Sada and Turo swapped. So I've done like a past Turo instead of a future Turo, but I haven't really thought ahead of what cosplay I'm going to do next. Um, so to kind of answer the question, I have ideas. I typically like fashion design and like things like Disney bounding and stuff like that. Um, on my old TikTok account, you can probably find like some old like Disney bounding videos. So I like actually taking characters from either tv series or video games and making outfits like normal everyday outfits that you can wear off of them um so right now i'm currently working on outfits for the musical and juliet that's oh. playing on broadway right now we just saw it like a couple weekends ago and i fell in love with all the costumes so now i'm like thrifting pieces and you know like trying to learn how to sew things together um, and so I have outfits coming for those. As for like actual cosplay cosplays, I really haven't given it much thought. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but I was just like, like I, I feel like a lot of people know me as a cosplayer and I'm just like, I don't know what to do next. So if anybody has any ideas, please let me know. Like, comment absolutely. Section. Comment section, please. I would love to hear your thoughts as to who you think I should cosplay as next. But um, but yeah, I really, I'm more, that's what I'm focusing on right now is more of like these Disney bounding, not necessarily for Disney. I actually 
wanted to do a series of taking like actual Pokemon and designing outfits based around those. So that's kind of in the works as well. Um, so that will probably come at a later date as well. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I mean, you have over like a thousand to work from. So, I mean, it could be yes. a long run series. <laughs> yes. Uh... I'll be like in the nursing home still <laughs> Do it. Guess I keep releasing more. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, they keep going and you keep going and like. <laughs> yep. You're in the nursing home and now you're like golden go. Yep, exactly. And give me ghoul. Like you have to find something for that. <laughs> One of those like fake just, like pirate necklaces like. For, I was gonna uh, say like, like just put a bunch coins. of like. Uh, yeah, the gold blooms. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Uh, just, just like glued all around. over me. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> just glued Make it all rain. over you. <laughs> Oh, uh, God, that's great. Uh, but next question mm -hmm. is going to be uh, – let me find a good one. Let me find a good one. Uh, so you, you said that on the interwebs here, let me just make sure. Let me make sure I'm saying it correctly. So let me look at it again so I'm not saying it wrong. Uh, uh, and a lot of things I... on the interwebs. Now I'm nervous. There's a lot, there's a lot of things on the interwebs. So you said this one thing back in 2012, and no, uh, uh no, uh, we do not do. Those were dark days. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, so on the interwebs, you go by the uh, versus leader Shauna. Why? Mm -hmm. Why'd you choose that name as your inter interwebs? I almost said in I almost said Instagram. My interwebs. Uh, I almost said Instagram. <laughs> My God. Um. So the Shano part comes from. It's actually the name that I've gone by since I was born, basically. Um, there's a lot of Sean's in my family. So we all have our own various versions of it. I'm the baby. So they just were like, oh, little baby Shano. So that's, and I couldn't stand that name for the life of me. Mm -hmm. So, but that's the name like I went by, like in school even, like all my friends yeah. at school would call me Shano and whatnot. Work is really the only place that doesn't call me that. Um, like my friends outside of work and my family to this day, like still, like they know me as Shano. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of embraced it and yeah. made it mine again because I, again, I couldn't stand it, but I was like, mine, this is what makes me unique. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah. The versus leader part was I have always wanted to been a, be a Pokemon gym leader. Mm -hmm. um, I did have this gym challenge on Twitch that's currently on hiatus because of the new generation so we're working out all the kinks and stuff um but i got my little gym leader jacket on mm -hmm. um i have like real life badges that i give out oh. to people like if they battle and win me on twitch that's actually so going back to twitch that one time where i had the 30 people was because one of my friends wanted to challenge me for a gym badge so again it's under the gym is under construction right now unfortunately <laughs> because of the new generation and the new everything else going on in my life right now so um I, going under renovations but hopefully we'll be back up soon but that's where the username comes from is just from this whole gym leader persona that's really what i started off with in the pokemon community before professor turo came along and i questioned all my life choices and said should it be like professor shano or something like that i don't know but <laughs> um re but yeah so that's re a oh, total rebranding based around what everybody wants which is uh father turo as some people call <laughs> papa turo <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> um mm, yeah going on from there uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah like so that. that's where versus leader shano came from is the whole gym leader persona that i started and then my actual name that i go boy go go boy go by go boy go. english hard go boy my boss go. go go protect the boy go uh, go yeah go be with the boy so i don't have to be uh exactly <laughs> spoilers uh i know spoiler uh, alert oh god i've gotten yelled at by that a few times as well sadly. that was actually a big surprise though when i could go over it because oh no yeah but that that was i didn't get it spoiled for me so i that, that was a, oh you're lucky i i played i it got like spoiled early on. the day before it came out 
I got spoiled. Yeah. Uh, it was so sad. It was you... so sad. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a shock to me, and I was very pleased. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a it good was, twist. It's a it was a good. Twist. I will say, Scarlet and Violet was probably one of, if not the best, story wise for the game. I will mm-hmm. definitely say, like storyline wise, it is an excellent, excellent, excellent story. Definitely mm-hmm. one of the top tier in the series. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, and I actually paid attention to the story too. Most of the time, you imagine. Know, just, I know. <laughs> you know, you just like you know, spam the A button, go away. Uh, oh, where's my right. Pokemon battle? Uh, they need like a skip cut skip all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, it was a solid story, but uh, we'll get into that in a minute because like yes. we, there's a special thing later on that I'm okay. going to pull directly out of and nowhere and everywhere at the same time uh, um yeah i'm trying to find a good one um i can edit this one a little bit so what's your favorite uh, version of turo that you've been doing probably the original mm-hmm. not gonna lie to you i feel like that's the one I have the most like the most content I can pull from, um, so it comes a lot easier to me. I do like Young Turo and Past Turo. Um, I just feel like I need it since those are technically original characters based mm-hmm. on another character. It's more difficult to try to come up with content for that. Mm-hmm. I am having a lot of fun with Young Turo and the whole coming up with how he met Sada and whatnot. So definitely be on the lookout more for those but i think the original turo like everybody knows him everybody immediately sees that and goes like oh my god that's turo like i love this and whatnot and i just feel like i feel the most comfortable doing that so i was probably easily my favorite past turo is up there mostly because i was very crafty with that Mm -hmm. so crafting him was fun trying to figure out what to do with him very difficult <laughs> very very difficult so we'll have to work out those kinks as well but i, I had fun creating that character but yeah i would say the original is probably my favorite yeah and he- i completely understand that like crafting and then hard mm-hmm. to find you know content for because i literally right. i'm making a whole character just because of one fucking tiktok audio <laughs> <laughs> Based off of like the one audio from TikTok, yeah, the, I, it's not gonna only be used for that because I've been oh yeah <laughs> make uh making uh me and my friend actually been helping me making it um uh, for about uh two years now because <laughs> I just haven't been buying it because I'm lazy uh and it yeah, takes it, time to come it, up it with does. these characters it does because like it's going to be a a uh Christmas one but like it keeps on getting delayed. <laughs> Uh, but, I feel that. Yeah. So it's like gonna be like the snow miser heat, mi- you know, like that one that always. Oh, comes back okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know who the heat miser is gonna be, but you know, I have, I don't have plans. Um, <laughs> it's just gonna be nice. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah. Uh, we went over that one. A few of these are like you know just reworded from you know the Twitch one, so I'm just gonna you know skip them because we kind of you know went over them already. Um, so. The next question is going to be coming from a past guest from a Dark Mina the Gone. Uh, which horror movie survivor or uh, uh, victim survivor uh, trope do you believe you would be in those types of movies? You know, being the survivor, killer, first killed, uh, so on, so forth, you know. As someone who's not a horror movie person, <laughs> I am all rainbows and sunshines and Disney princess and bubblegum pop, <laughs> basically. Um, knowing me, I'd probably the, be the first one killed. If I, if, knowing my luck, <laughs> the way everything goes, I will definitely be the first one killed. I will trip over my shoelace running away. I will walk right into them i yeah i will i would definitely be the first one killed i feel just 
the klutz that I am, sadly. <laughs> I feel like I'm very smart. I, I feel like I'm very street smart. Not so much book smart, but I feel like I would still somehow mess it up somehow <laughs> with the way my luck goes. I 100% I understand. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. I, I, yeah, I would not be good at it. Yeah, uh, I. Yeah, first, first one gone. That's yeah. me. R.I.P. I want to be the first one gone. I don't want to be running away from the rest. Yeah. For an hour long, two hour long movie. Are you kidding me? Three hours sometimes. Have, exactly. I don't have that kind of energy. <laughs> mm. I feel ya. <laughs> um. So, uh, now we're gonna get into the fun game. That that I came up with games. as we were talking, <laughs> as before we started recording, uh, the the quiz, the test the professor. Test uh, the professor. I, I I don't know. Again, infographic would be there. What? I hope I, I hope the yeah. professor's smart. Uh. <laughs> okay, so th these are like random ones. I'm coming like from my knowledge of random things. Okay. So. Because I've also been doing quizzes with, like, the kids I have to watch as well, because they love Pokemon, and they also love Fire and Fist Freddy's. So I've been doing some of them with them, so it's like I have a few in my head already. Uh, so can you beat a third oh, it's grader? Gonna... It's also that game. <laughs> what type is Pikachu? <laughs> um, okay, so... Water. First... <laughs> no. Yes, no. Uh, in this weird alternate universe. Um... <laughs> no. Uh... So... The first question okay. is going to be, who was the first Pokemon made? Rhydon. I believe so. Rhydon. Yes. yes. I, I get confused between Rhydon and my horn, so I believe it was Rhydon. Yep, Rhydon. The bipedal one. Yes. Because at one point or another, every Pokemon just turns into a bipedal thing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Causes a lot of controversy. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> people get very disappointed. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, uh, God. But the next thing is going okay. to be what are Professor Sada and Toro's names based off of? Spanish words Pasada, which means past, and Futuro, which means future. Perfect. Would that thing be, be two points, or would that be one? I'd say it'd be two. Works for me. Sure. <laughs> you're, at, you're at three now. Okay. Let's go. So, the next question. What Pokemon am I thinking of? No. Uh, <laughs> the kids love that one. Um, But, <laughs> since it's episode 179, and we did go over this, so I'm seeing how well your retention is. What po What is Pokemon 179? Is that fair? We went over it. I know. I was close, though. Fantastic. To give everybody <laughs> the answer is Mareep. <laughs> However, when he originally asked me that, I did say Ampharos, so I was very close. He did. It, it was real creepy. It was It was very close. <laughs> I was, was literally about to say it. <laughs> it was amazing, too. It was, it was amazing. I literally was doing math in my head. I'm like, gold, silver, gold, silver, Pokedex. Who's... Uh, <laughs> uh, man, but if anybody knows po Pokedex, it's a professor. Um, True. It, now it's just going to turn to name things. Hold on. I'm trying to think of something that's not just that. Um, I think we're just going to go into that because I have one, one that's really good. What are the par What are all the paradox forms in Violet? Since you're a Violet. Hero. Let's see. We have uh, Iron Valiant. Yep. Iron Palms. Iron hands, no. Iron hands. Iron there hands. You go. Iron there hands. You go. I don't. I keep thinking palms. Like <laughs> he fights he with his palms, right? Yeah. Um. Iron treads. Yep. Iron. They all start with iron. Oh, so that's an easy one. Uh, yeah. Right. The high dragon one. Iron jugulus. Iron yeah. jugulus. Mm -hmm. Iron. Moth. Yep. Hold on, how many am I at? Five. Yeah, iron. Yeah, Five I'm out trying to, like, of, go in order. By about seven to eight. It depends on if you count one of them as well, one or not. Well, uh, Miraidon technically yep. is one. Um, iron. 
Oh, Deli Bot Iron Iron uh, Bundle. Yep, <laughs> Deli Bot. That's, Deli that's Bot. That's my called. that's my that's my original name for it. There's um, one more. There's one more. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to think of like it. the original forms. Iron. Oh God. Do I have all the paradox books? I do. Oh, iron thorns. There you go. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Yay. That's another eight points because this is my game, and now you're at eleven. <laughs> Let's go. Out of a thousand and twenty-six. Now we're gonna keep going. No. <laughs> <laughs> Name every single Pokemon. Go. No. Uh. It'd be mean for me to do the Scarlet ones because those are like hard. Because, like, they don't all start with the same... They don't all start with the same thing. But now oh, I'm sitting here though, going... Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Let, let, let's uh, see how many, how many we can go. Let's see. Roaring Moon. Yep. Um, the same the same number oh, of them. Just to, if that's yeah. a hint. Technically, Coridon. Um, oh, Screentail. Yep. Oh, I can picture the mischievous one. I can't think of its name, though. We'll come back to that one. Um, I can picture all of them. Slitherwing. Yep. Uh, Great Tusks. Yes. My God, what is the mischievous one? Why can't I think of it? Because you can't. I don't need your opinion. Ooh. Uh, there Why? it is. Two more, I believe? Wait. I have the number in my hand. My God, I'm dumb. It's three I think more. I've only said. I think I've only said four of those. I think you said five. Did I? Cried on. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Oh God. Why can't I think? Oh, um, Amungus. What's that one? Uh, brute bonnet. Yes. Why can't I think of the mischievous one? That one's driving me nuts. But I'm missing two more, right? Yeah, two more. The mischievous, and then oh my god! It tells you how much I played Scarlet. <laughs> Fair, I mean. Hmm. Oh, I can't. I can't with the last two. The mischievous is gonna drive me nuts. Join I can't even think of who the last. Sure. Flutter Main is the Flutter Main. I and knew then, one of them had Main. The funniest thing is that the one you got stuck on spawns in the same spot as Iron Thorns. <laughs> so you got stuck on the same on the one that got spawned. Yeah, because that Iron Thorns was the one that gave me the most trouble trying to find. Yeah. The other one is Sandy Shocks, which is the... Sandy Shocks! Metaton. Oh, one. Mallory's going to kill me. That's her favorite. <laughs> uh, the funniest Adam thing might actually kill Tauro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how Toro actually... Uh, no, uh, but... Right? <laughs> not, not spoil the game. I'm like, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it, me. Uh, okay, so that's... But another uh, seven... Uh, six points. So that was what? Six points? Yeah. Yeah. And we're at 17 Sandy now. Shocks. Oh, I can't believe that one. Oh, uh, God. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Try it. Okay. It's got a little bit of a weird one. So stick with me. Okay. What are the typings of, for the final form for the three first Scarlet Invite? For the three starters? For Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet. Violet. Uh, water fighting, grass dark, fire ghost. I'm double checking about the water one. Quatch of all, because I do not remember. I remember Quack the other all. ones. I... Katrina! <laughs> You're on tech, Knock. If you know, you know. Uh, God. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't need the sunstone right now. I already know how to get those. I had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, water. Uh, da, da, da. I'm double checking. You're probably right. I'm just, I, I'm curious now. Writing, yeah. Because 
if, if we're doing like a quiz, I have to know the answers. <laughs> you know that helps. You know, um, right? Around the official Pokemon website, perfect. Water fighting. There you right. go. That's three. That's three Ooh. more points. We're at twenty. Um, I, I, that's the end of the game because I don't have any more off the top. Of my head. <laughs> uh, so go and edit on. <laughs> just the twenty points. Twenty and a half <laughs> points, bro. Twenty and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the half point for Man for Us. Or would it be 20 and a third? I'll take that. It's fine. Yeah, either way. We'll yeah. take it. There's like 20 and a third or 20 and a half or <laughs> just 20. It's over 20. We know. Over, it's 20 -ish. At least 20. 20 ish. 20 -ish. Uh, okay, so now I don't need I don't need that page on my phone anymore. Uh, Cat's trying to escape my room, so I need to open the door real quick. Um, oh god! But now I, I I wish to ask you, what is your favorite Pokemon from that that is new in Scarlet and Violet? What's your favorite new one from that game? Because I have to ask you about Scarlet and Violet because you know, yes. like, obvious reasons. Gotta keep gotta keep it in the yeah, keep in it in the trends here. Um, this one's also very controversial. It's fine. <laughs> Mousehold. I'm obsessed with that thing. Those things, I don't know. It, like, it's like, it's such it's such a good Pokemon. It's mm -hmm. so cute. It's absolutely adorable. Yeah, the whole how you get it is kind of creepy and weird, especially in a Pokemon game. You don't think about it. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't you don't need to you don't need to worry about it. Just know that it's a very 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 Unique. strong pokemon normal typing is so underrated mm -hmm. it is so underrated let's talk about that for a second it is okay. so underrated um, population bomb on yeah, that oh, pokemon I've seen that. oh i've seen those i've seen those videos. like just just oh it's so good it's such a good pokemon it's so yeah. strong for this tiny little family of four or and three. i'm i'm obsessed or three the one actually the one i have is three. Oh, that was the first one i got was a family one? of three that is the rarer one <laughs> I, for once in my life, I got lucky. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, uh, so, I, I just oh, I love in it. this game. There's multiple things that the rare version is of threes. <laughs> yes, it it's weird. Like you would think the rare version would be the family of four. Yeah. Right. Like that's yeah. yeah. That makes more sense. But like right. Pokemon. But Pokemon. But Pokemon. Um. Uh, huh. So. Trying to think, trying to think. Um, and I must ask, out of the two professors, which one is mm -hmm. your favorite? Is it the obvious answer or is it the not so obvious answer? It's, it's tough. <laughs> it's actually a really tough decision because I love them both for very different reasons. Mm -hmm. Um. But I, I mean, I have to go. I probably have to go with the obvious answer, which is Turo, because mm -hmm. he's got me the most clicks. So. <laughs> I, <laughs> everybody has the reason. He's not alone. Again, like they're both very different. Like I love love Sada's design. I love mm -hmm. like I love both of their designs so much. Yeah, I love like how like. They they have very similar personalities, but when you see them as a whole, like you can kind of predict like what their personalities really are. Like Sada ten feels like she would be more like wild and kind of unhinged, and like I love that mm -hmm. for her. And then Turo like very like more serious, like very like robotic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 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 mm. So it's very different reasons, but just the slightly ever so higher liking for Turo. Yeah. Like, ever so slightly. Yeah. Solely based on clicks. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a reason. So, I mean... It's a very valid reason, I feel. Very so. valid reason. <laughs> um, I'm trying... Okay, so I know we talked about uh, how uh, you don't focus on shiny hunting, which is fine. More power to you. Don't. <laughs> I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I, uh, yeah. I, I, 
it's there's a reward. Is it rewarding? Up to you. Um but has you a lot come of work. Across any <laughs> yet? Yeah, that's true. Have you come across <laughs> any yet in your span of time? So, this is really funny. So, I and Scarlet and Violet alone. Like I have a bunch of shinies from my first ever shiny was on was Gen 5. I got a shiny Lunatone. Full odds shiny Lunatone. That was my first ever shiny Pokemon that wasn't the shiny Gyarados from Gold and Silver. Yeah. Um in Scarlet and Violet, this is really funny. So I I caught a shiny Al Altaria. Mm-hmm. But I had so many from Pokemon Go because we would yeah. we would go out and do the community eight days and stuff like that. So I didn't really consider it my first shiny. So I was like, eh, cool. Like I have another one of these. Like cool that I yeah. got it full odds in another game. My least favorite Pokemon, period, is Grafai. Least favorite least favorite Pokemon. Like that thing gave gives me nightmares. It is nightmare fuel to me. A lot of people love it. A lot of people love it. I'm happy for you that you love it. Not for me. Not yeah. for me. So, of course, Murphy's Law comes into play. And what would my first actual shiny be in Scarlet and Violet? But a shiny Grafai Eye. Yeah. <laughs> because the universe is against me. <laughs> Apparently so. I get it. So. That was my first shiny from... And then I caught a shiny cloth shortly after, actually. Ooh, so, nice. yeah, we love the blue curb. Yeah. Oh, man. But, I'm trying to think of any other Pokemon related questions off the top of my head that I have for you. Yeah, well, um, favorite gym, gym leader for uh, from either Scarlet or Violet and or Sword and Shield? Scarlet and Violet is it's kind of a toss up between Tulip and Iono. Because Tulip is everything that I want to be. <laughs> Iono, though, I just love, love, love that the Pokemon company used her to basically troll the internet when mm-hmm. this game was first coming out. That was the most epic thing I've ever seen in my life. Just the whole not even really clickbait kind of, but like the way it was set up to be like how like some of these bigger like YouTube people like kind of like mm-hmm. get the clicks and whatnot. And I mean, we all do it, yeah. but just <laughs> the way that the Pokemon company can see that and set it up. Like mm-hmm. that's why I know has like an epic spot <laughs> in my book. Mm-hmm. Um, Sword and shield. Um, myself because I can do all no. <laughs> <laughs> right here we go. That's this is technically the Galar, the Galarian Pokemon League with the fairy typing. Ironically enough, though, it is not Opal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be Raihan. I just feel like I'm obsessed with his personality, like mm-hmm. obsessed with his personality. Just like the whole influencer thing, always have to take a selfie because that's literally me. Any given moment, like this phone, this phone does not leave my hand, and I'm just like over here taking clicks of everything. I'm like, hold on, I gotta record this. Yeah. Go to a bar, have to do the boomerang with the drinks. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that is yeah, awesome. That that's that's probably <laughs> probably my choice for Galar. Perfect. Well, uh, now we're going to go into the final four questions of of the show today. And the first one is, do you have any questions for me as an individual or about the show in general? Hold on. I didn't expect to be put on the spot like that. Haha. Um. I it, it, like now I feel like you're interviewing me for a job. So, and one of the first questions I always ask is like, what's your success story? <laughs> so like, I guess well. that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. Like what, like what? Cause I really didn't know much about the show before y- yeah, you reached nice. out to me. And so, and so I was like intrigued and I started like watching some of the videos and whatnot. Oh, so I'm very, I did. Yes. I do my research. 
perfect. Um, <laughs> so I guess just like, what is it that you love about what you do? Well, one of my favorite things is that we, the goal is to help people, like, you know, get, you know, more comfortable with like different platforms. Cause most of the time I do find people from the Tick and Talk Beef or just from Instagram in general. Uh, because, you know, of, you know, different influences and all that, you know, or suggestions, which is going to be a question coming up soon, so you can, uh, so, that, I, that's kind of, like, what I really like about it, is that, uh, I get to meet really cool people, I get to have fun doing it, and, uh, and the goal, which I think is working, maybe, <laughs> uh, um, for people to either, uh, both get more comfortable with YouTube if they're only on TikTok, mainly with like everything that's going on, with like will they get banned in US or not, or maybe not, you know? Oh that's yeah. The thing. Uh, so they can get comfortable on a different platform as well, and so you know people can find them, uh, you know, from here to there and all that fun stuff. So you know, I I just have a lot of fun doing that in, in my personal opinion, and I also have like other programs, I don't know if that's the right word or not, that we offer that isn't just normal interviewing. Because like, kind of like what you talked about way in the beginning, about <laughs> having a plan of doing uh, in-character uh, cosplay, Twitch stream, YouTube video, TikTok video, uh, live type of thing. That's something we do, actually. <laughs> we do that there we with go. different <laughs> medias, actually. Uh, we do it. We've done it with Ruby a lot because it's very easy to section them off. Um, we do it with I do the Com Writer one. We've done a FNAF one. Um, we have plans for more. Um, we did Doki Doki Literature Club one. That one's actually our highest viewed video <laughs> as of right now. Hey, everyone's so obsessed with it, and I've I've never heard of it until recently. It's now very, I have to it deep is, dive. It, it's, <laughs> hey, I mean, go watch our video. Now, um, there you go. <laughs> more plugging it of things. Uh, because, like, whenever we're doing those, uh, we, we do those, we do what's called Demon Media, which is where, like, I basically just throw whatever shit I want on there. But primarily, it's uh, I, me and a guest go over shows, movies, uh, video games, and just talk about them. Like, you know, like, basically catch people up on these things type yeah, of thing okay. uh so basically like going through seasons of a show me and a friend went through all of the fnaf games and what you need to know about them <laughs> for lore reasons or at least what we thought as reasons Big lore uh, games yeah go get uh, you yeah uh there's also uh and we do sometimes we do marvel movies depends on the marvel movie aka, AKA if it's spider-man or venom because <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, uh, um, we also do demon reviews, which basically I, so far it's mainly been me and one other person who did one video. Uh, basically reviewing cosplay props, like what they've used, and like, you know, this way you can get sure, it okay. if you like this and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, and, and I mean those do fine. They've kind of just turned toy reviews, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> Boy uh, reviews are good. Yeah, I mean, you know. It, Those are always fun. Always fun. Um, But, yeah, we have a lot of different opportunities. Like, horrible wording, because it's not like, any, like, we're not business. Uh, For, like, you know, people to come back on as either, you know, themselves again, just talk about their favorite media, or, you know, going over, you know, being, pretending to be their character that they love being, and... And I'm, as you can tell by this, I'm not a serious person. If you start laughing or really? you break character, yeah, I know, <laughs> shocking. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. It's not gonna be like, no, we must redo the whole thing. Yeah. How dare you? Like, I'm like, uh, you can, and like, you don't even have to do an accent. Like, whatever you want to do, I don't care. As long as you answer, I'm somewhat, and I always put a disclaimer, being like, this is what the cosplayer thinks that they would say. It's not canon to anything. Leave right. them the fuck alone. Well, uh, with Turo, it's hard because there's no voice acting in Pokemon. So does he have an accent? Does he not have an accent? True. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Do whatever uh, you want. <laughs> exactly. 
Uh, do you have any other questions for me or about the show in general? I think you covered most of it. That's that was that's impressive. I yes. was unaware, <laughs> so thank you. Yes, it, it, they're all very fun. In my, yeah. in my personal opinion, they're fun to do and you'll know, set up and stuff like that. And that's uh, the most important part is like with content creation. Again, for those of you mm-hmm. who want to do content creation, is as long as you're having fun with it. Mm-hmm. Again, like it'll 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 work. Like people yeah. want to see you having fun and having a good time. So yeah, we we started the character interviews like as you know conventions were shutting down. So like cosplayers didn't uh, yeah. have any reason to get into cosplay, even though you know that's their favorite thing to do. Yeah. So I basically just was like, here, make make me videos, <laughs> uh, make videos with me, and I'll give you a reason. And yeah, and it's really fun. Um, and I have not had complaints about them so far from people who are in them and people who watch them because our, one of our biggest ones is the dope. I had someone play each of the main girls, and we actually did. Very creepy opening, which I'm very proud of, and I was laughing through the whole thing. Because <laughs> like the person who we had playing Monica, the main the main girl, did so well at being creepy that I just kept laughing because I was like, oh my God, "What am I doing with my life?" Um, but uh, yeah, the, I'll have uh, to watch it. It's it it is good. I need to like pin that instead of our like half ass trailer that me and my friend did back when it was me and uh, co- the main co-host you know but yeah uh it was it was it was so weird god i was like laughing through the whole thing I, and uh, seeing that it's like um uh, uh, so yeah if there isn't any other questions for me as an individual or about the show in general then i will continue on with the final three questions let's go awesome well the next one kind of just goes into what we were just talking about. Uh, would you ever like to come back to the show for either another interview like this, media, blah, 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 or doing a character interview with us in the future? No, definitely. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> awesome. Good, because we have 18 things planned today. There you go. Yes. Because uh, that's always <laughs> we gotta eat. Works. We got to eat bacon with peanut butter. <laughs> we got to. Yeah. <laughs> we got, that's we number get, one. Yeah, number one. First that. And then uh, <laughs> we got to get we gotta get somebody to be Sada in here, and you quickly go change yes uh, and then we do a different thing and you go change again uh no. there you go. quick change uh, <laughs> editing uh work on those tiktok transitions boom uh if i could upload this to tiktok it'd be much easier to do editing <laughs> uh i think it's a little bit too long um just a hair just 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 a smidge just a smidge and probably the wrong file type too uh <laughs> if we're all being we can fix all that it's fine <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. We can small, fix all that. small inconveniences. Uh, <laughs> so the next thing is, do you have anybody that you would like to see shown on the show in the future? Again, there's so many, but I think if you have your Turo, I think you might need your Sada and get her opinion on the matter. Over who's responsible of the child. No, I'm kidding. I mean, that's uh, also a very valid thing. I very valid if question. We ever, if we ever did a Sada and Toro interview, uh, that would be the first thing be, I would ask. It would probably be like an episode of Jerry Springer or something like that. Like, so, they just, like, they again, just spoiler alert, but they just if you can put two and two together. Yeah, that's what I feel. It's like they're, like they're both like, wait, wait, aren't, I thought you were watching him i'm like no i thought you were watching him just like well where is he <laughs> oh no he's with the dog yeah, he's got the he's got the dog he's fine he's he's with the, <laughs> the dog's got it the mob boss dog it's fine <laughs> uh, uh but yeah so i would probably say um mallory aka amateur archaeologist aka tiktok's professor sada mm-hmm. we've been officially dubbed per- tiktok's Professor Turo and Professor Sada. So can't have one without the other. So yeah. I would say, you're up. <laughs> Go. Next. <laughs> Perfect. Now she she would have a good time. Awesome. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, yes. I'm very hopeful because, like, I, I hope I'm doing good. Uh, so the final question is going to be, what would you ask a future guest? What, what, what oh, question would ever... you ask a future guest? There we go. Since you started doing this, I've been thinking about what I was going to ask. Ha-ha. Or it could be anything. Uh, it, it, um, anything. 
God, God knows it could be anything. Mm. We have a whole like list of questions that's just <laughs> past guest questions. I mean, like the bacon one was top tier, yeah. so I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out how to get up there. Um, and what are those as well? Both. Yeah, that's a good one too. Fun fact: both from the same episode that got corrupted. Oh, <laughs> it's still perfect. Up, it's still up, but cuts. Not the corruption. Ten minutes. Um. Hmm. I would say. If you could live in any video game world, which one would it be and why? Ooh. Interesting. Do you mind answering your own question? Because I'm very, I'm very curious. I mean, I feel like it's an obvious answer. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Oh, totally. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love horror movies and horror video games and stuff like that. Exactly. So. 100%. <laughs> um, I always think about all the time which Pokemon region I would want to be in, though. So mm -hmm. if I had to pick a specific game, probably either Ruby and Sapphire, because I would I'm obsessed with the Hoenn region and I would mm -hmm. want to live in the Hoenn region. Not enough water. Everybody who says yeah. too much water, not enough water. Yeah. So gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, hundred percent. So that would be my answer. Is I would love to live in the Hoenn region in Pokemon, Sa specifically Sapphire. So that way yeah. there. You get the water. <laughs> You're on Team Aqua. Just so I am that. Team Aqua. I was uh, always on Team Aqua <laughs> since that game first came out. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm a giant fan of FNAF, but I would die very quickly in that game. Uh, That's the problem. Is that like the video game world die. that you may want to live in? I would how die. soon will you die? <laughs> I, I, if I had to answer, I would be either Skylanders. Any of them. Oh, they're really fun. Okay. I'm actually like I have a collection of them like on my wall, a giant Tupperware thing under my bed. Too many of them. Uh, and, That's me or, with all the amiibos. Yeah, it, there's some I really there, do some over there, Just... some down there. They're all over the place. Oh yeah, there. There's yeah. one right there. My favorite one's actually right there. Um, it's like one in every nook and cranny of the shelf. Yeah, <laughs> I have one on my desk right there. I have. <laughs> I have the funniest fucking thing happened the other day. I have three that are just in their box because I got I I got them when they came out and I was like I'm just gonna have them in the box when I was ten because that's the kind of kid <laughs> I was. And I I have all three of them hanging up, and then one of them fell and just opened because <laughs> oh. the glue just was like just, I'm done, you know. And I was like, we just we just okay. love items just yeeting themselves off. Because, like, I, I hang them, like, on the shelf type of thing. Ah, uh, okay. And, like, I live right next to, like, the back door. which And, like, mm -hmm. that same wall's next to it. So, like, sometimes things so shift. It shakes. Yeah. Yeah. So, it just fell down. And I came in. And it was just open. The glue was like, I'm done. I've been here for 20 years. I'm not. I don't need to be here anymore. Right. And, and it just opened. That's awesome. And I was like, okay. And I just I well, took them out of the package. And I threw them in the box. I was like, eh, whatever. And, and he's actually still on the shelf. <laughs> That you fell off. As long, as long as he's remained in place he's since there. then. He's a he hasn't fallen yet. Yet um, being the keyword there. Or if I had to pick a Pokemon one, I would love to live in Sinnoh because I love that uh, fucking yes. fire monkey so much. <laughs> he's my favorite. A Pokemon. lot of people love that fire monkey. I, I never know. ever ever I, realized I, that. I just love the monkey. I don't know Until why. Recently. I don't monkey. know why. Monkey. Pretty much. Monkey. That or uh, Alola, which was the one I kind of came back oh, to playing the yeah. normal games with, you know? And I would be like, I, I have to choose Litten, because I have I, we have 12 yeah. cats, and I like the fire typing, and I don't care if he's an evil luchador. He is a cat. Yes. Fun fact, my favorite Pokemon comes from Alola. Mimikyu! This little sad but happy sad creature known, sad, as, known as Mimikyu. Creature. Yes. This is this is patchwork, everybody, because he's got a little patch because he had a boo boo. So I had to sew a little patch on him. Aww. I had to sew up his disguise. So this is patchwork. But I, actually, most of my favorite Pokemon come from Alola. It's so funny, like a, like all the Alolan regional forms, basically. Oh yeah, I get that. 
Serena, those boots. Yeah. Obstagoon. That's that's my personal favorite from Galar. That's I I like Obstagoon. He's he he's that was fun. Personal. That was my personal favorite one. Uh but uh yeah, that's about it. We're done. All right. But so thank you so much for being on the show. I highly appreciate it. I appreciate you reaching out to me. This was a lot of fun. Well, I'm happy to hear I will that I was not gladly scared. come back if you would like. <laughs> yes, of course. We just talked. But next video, spoilers for Scarlet and Violet. Let's go over it. <laughs> there you go. The whole story. All the whole storyline. Three and a half of them. Yes. Three and a half, yeah. Yeah, technically. Uh, <laughs> and with that, don't forget to follow Lovely Guests on all the social media platforms. There'll be a way to get to them in the description below. And I hope you have all have a nice rest of your day, night, yes. cycle, and at least I will see you in the next video. I don't know yes. why I'm doing this. Bye. Thank you. Bye.